With custom recoveries like TWRP being used less and less these days, people still need a way to back up their important data on Android. And this is where Neo Backup comes into play. Neo Backup is a free and open source application for Android that requires root access and can back up your individual applications along with the app data. You can do these backups one at a time or batch them up for ease of use. And these backups can be scheduled so you'll always have the latest data if something goes wrong. We can download Neo Backup from an app repository like FDroid, or it can be downloaded directly from GitHub. I'll be sure to include links to both of these sources in the video description below. Once the application has been installed, let's go ahead and launch it and then grant Neo Backup root access. But along with granting root access, Neo Backup also needs you to complete the setup process before you can begin. So we're going to start by tapping on storage access. We're going to grant Neo Backup that storage ac access. We're then going to designate a backup folder, which I have already set up as Neo. So we're going to tell it to use this folder. We're then going to tell Android to ignore Neo Backup when it comes to battery optimization. And lastly, we need to grant usage access so that the app can check the stats and sizes of data as well as the cache for your apps. Once all of that has been set up, we are then taken to the home page for Neo Backup. And it's going to recommend that you encrypt your backups so that the data is protected. You can do that by going into the services section of the settings and then enabling encryption from here. This requires us to also set a password to encrypt the data and then it uses that password to allow us to decrypt it whenever we want to perform a restore. Here on the home page of Neo Backup, we'll be given a list of all of the user apps and system applications that we have on our device. All of these can be backed up if you'd like, but we can also tap on the sort and filter button and then only show us user apps so that whenever we go to the home page, we only see the individual applications that we have personally installed, not the pre-installed system apps that were listed before. Now tapping on an application will take us to the details page where we can do things like add an app to the global blacklist, force kill the application, we can launch it, we can disable it, we can uninstall it, or we can check on the Exodus report for that application. Now these buttons right here used to have text description alongside of the icon itself, which helped you to know what each of them did. But after a bit of time and trial and error, you start to understand what these icons mean without needing the text next to the icon. Still, I think this should be something that could be toggled in the settings as it can be daunting for first time users who are just wanting to learn the application. From this app details page, we can add tags and we can add specific notes for the application. 
We are also able to perform a backup for that individual app, which can be done by tapping on the backup button and then choosing the bits of data that you want backed up. Most people will want to back up everything, so we're going to leave all of these checked, but you can customize this if you'd like. Depending on how big the application and its data is, the backup should only take a few seconds to complete. And then you'll be shown the details of that backup down here at the bottom. So you can back up these apps one at a time, or you could tap the backup tab down here at the bottom, and then back up both the app APK, which is what that green icon is, or the app data as well. And we can do this in batches by either going through them one by one, or tapping that icon down here to select them all. Then when you're ready, all we have to do is tap on the backup button, confirm these are the apps and or games that we want to back up, and then tap on yes. You can see the progress up here at the top. And this is also shown in the notification as well. Each of these icons here signify which parts of the app are being backed up and have been backed up. So the green four square icon tells us that the APK file has been backed up. The pinkish purple two servers icon show us that the app data has been backed up. The shield icon tells us that the device protected data has been backed up. Then we have the purplish disk icon, which tells us that the external data has been backed up. We have that game controller which tells us that the OBB data has been backed up. And we also have this play icon right here telling us that the media data has been backed up. And each application has different components. So you'll notice some apps do not have external data to be backed up. Other apps have OBB data to back up and some apps also have media data to back up. So let's say we uninstalled one of our applications. Maybe one of them got deleted by accident or the data became corrupt. As long as that application and its data has been backed up, then we can restore that application or game, again, using Neo Backup. You can follow along with that restore process with the notification or up there at the top. And once the restore has been completed, you'll find that application is back in the exact same state that it was in before. I've come to appreciate the scheduling feature that this Android application offers, which can be found by tapping on the scheduling tab down here at the bottom right, and then adding a schedule. From here, we can name the schedule, set the time of day that the schedule is set to execute, tell it how many days for that interval, whether we want to back up system apps or user apps, or both. The type of data that we want backed up in this way. And then we can enable it from here. If we want, we can even manually start this schedule by tapping on this button. 
because having to manually go in and create new backups of your apps and games can be annoying. So letting the application do that for you is a great feature to have. I would like to see Neo Backup get features that allow us to control where we want the backup to be stored because as of right now, this data is only saved to the folder that we set up on the internal storage of our device. Sadly, for most people who are backing up all of their apps and games, this is going to take up a lot of our storage. Maybe in the future, we can see an option to save these backups to an FTP server on our local network or maybe even uploading them automatically to a cloud storage provider like Google Drive or Dropbox. For now, we need to use a sync solution if you want to automate that process. And we can use apps like SyncThing or Nextcloud in order to move this data from our device automatically. So if you have root access to your Android smartphone or tablet, Neo Backup is a nice free and open source application that can back up your APK file and app or game data for you. People complain all the time about Android not having a proper backup solution, but thankfully we have apps like this that can do the job. We simply need root access in order for these types of apps to have the ability to back up that important data.